Hey everybody, Bill here. Happy Saturday to you. In fact, the last Saturday of September. How in the world did that happen? Where has the time gone, right? I mean, it's going to be the end of the year before you know it. Uh, let's talk photography today. I want to talk about this picture in particular. This is the lighthouse in Grand Marais, Minnesota. I posted this earlier this week. It's probably the closest I've had to any of my content going viral. So I tweeted this and a couple of other people retweeted it and it had over 1300 impressions. So that was pretty cool. I was not expecting that. So I wanted to talk with you a little bit about how this picture came together. So we were in Grand Marais, Minnesota about two years ago, my wife and I, and I didn't get out to shoot any pictures at sunrise until the very last day we were there. The day before was pretty gloomy, it had a lot of rain and fog and wind, and it was just not a very nice day to be outside and take pictures. So I made sure I got up early that last morning because the forecast called for all of that bad weather pushing out overnight. And that's what happened. So uh, right on the lake, on Lake Superior, there's this little peninsula that sticks out. It's called Artist Point. And on the north side of that peninsula, you've got big rocks, like really big rocks. And obviously get spectacular views of the lake from there. So I went out early that morning. It was probably before five o'clock when I was out there and things were still pretty wet from the day before. And I was trying to move quickly to where I wanted to shoot, but carefully. And I took about four or five steps on this one rock and I just lost my balance, wiped out and um, hurt my knees pretty badly. At least they, they hurt for the next couple of days. It wasn't anything real serious, but my camera, my wide angle lens, just stopped auto focusing. It wouldn't work anymore. So I couldn't use that. Uh, I couldn't use that lens. Also, whenever I had that lens on the camera, I would push the shutter button down and it wouldn't take the picture. So I had to shoot with my telephoto lens, my 55 to 200. And this, which makes you have to get a little bit creative with your shots. And I wasn't able to get the sunrise like I hoped. None of those pictures really turned out all that well. So after a couple of minutes, I said, well, forget this. Let me turn around and see what's behind me. And I saw the lighthouse. So I started taking pictures of that. And I, I, I took, a, took some long exposure shots. So you could see the water coming in and then moving back out. And it makes the water look really smooth and silky. Get a really nice effect doing that. So I took the pictures and then we went about on our way. And then last week, I started going through some old pictures that I hadn't looked at in a long time, including that one. So I processed it and I was like, holy cow, how in the world did I not see this picture? How did I know I was not sitting on this one? So it looked really good and I wound up cropping it. So the original picture actually had a little wider view than what you saw. Uh, I cropped it so that the rocky part that sticks out goes almost from edge to edge of the picture. So I, I thought that made it look a little bit better. I'm probably going to get a print of that one and maybe hang it on that back wall behind me just to dress, dress up the basement a little bit. But that was the story behind that one. And um, after we got home, I took the lens to a local shop here in Madison and they got it working again. And I haven't had a problem with that lens since. So that was good. Okay, well, hopefully in the next week or so, well, next week I'll, I'll be here. But the week, the two weeks after that, I have off and I'm planning on hopefully heading north and getting some fall colors if there's anything left up there. Maybe I don't have to go all the way up to the UP border or anything, but um, hopefully we get a little more color and I can get some autumn pictures because they're turning here in Madison. I, it's hard to say what the percentage is, maybe 20% if I had to guess. So we got a little ways to go. I just hope that by the time my vacation comes around, all the color isn't gone up north. So if not, I'll have to make something happen down here. All right, well, Enjoy the Saturday, and we'll talk with you next time.